Hi, and thanks for watching. This video is all about the student funding available to help get you through your degree course. It's aimed at students who are studying a full-time undergraduate degree course for the first time. You must be living in England or Wales, and your course must not be funded by the NHS. If you're not sure whether you meet this criteria, or if you're living in Scotland or Northern Ireland, please contact the Money Advice and Support Office, and we'll be able to discuss your entitlement based on your individual circumstances. So what is student funding? Basically, student funding is made up of two parts. Firstly, money to cover your tuition fees, and secondly, money to cover your maintenance costs. Tuition fees at Swansea University will be charged £9,000 per academic year. The important thing to understand about tuition fees is that you don't have to pay anything up front. If you live in England, you'll be entitled to apply for a tuition fee loan to cover the full cost of tuition fees and students living in Wales will be entitled to a loan of £3,575 as well as a grant of £5,425 to make up the full cost of the fees each year. The difference between loans and grants is that loans will need to be paid back once you've finished your degree and you're earning over a certain amount, whereas grants will never need to be paid back. Funding for tuition fees is not means tested, which means all students are entitled to receive this funding regardless of a household income. You can also apply for funding to help you cover your maintenance, which relates to living costs such as rent, bills, food, travel, books and socialising. All students are entitled to receive a basic maintenance loan of approximately three and a half grand, and those from lower income households may be entitled to a bigger loan, and they may also receive a maintenance grant. Again, the main difference between the loan and the grant is that the grant doesn't need to be paid back. Depending on your circumstances, you may also be entitled to receive supplementary grants. If you have adults or children who are financially dependent on you, you may be entitled to apply for the Adult Dependence Grant or Parental Learning Allowance. Also, if your children are in childcare with a registered childcare provider, you may be entitled to receive the childcare grant, which could cover up to 85% of your childcare costs. These grants are means tested, which means the amount you receive will depend on your household income. Students who require extra support due to disability or learning difficulty may also apply for disabled students' allowance. Finally, certain students may be entitled to claim benefits while they study. If you'd like more information on this, please contact the Money Advice and Support Office to discuss your individual entitlement. Our contact details will be available at the end of the video. Funding for maintenance will be paid in three instalments, one at the beginning of each term. It's really important that you set up a budget to make sure that your funding stretches to cover the whole term and that all your priority payments like rent, bills and food are all covered. If you've got anything left after all these things are covered, you can spend it on whatever you like. Applications for student funding are now open for both England and Wales. Make sure that you get your application for student funding in as soon as possible to ensure that all your funding is in place before the start of the academic year. If you live in England, you'll need to apply to Student Finance England, and if you live in Wales, you apply to your local authority. Applications can be made online via the websites displayed on the screen. You don't need to wait until you've got a confirmed place in university before you apply. If you're not sure which university you'll be going to, simply put down your first choice in your application, and if this changes at any time, all you need to do is contact your funding provider and update the information. You only start to repay your student loan in the April after you graduate or leave university. And even then, you'll only start making repayments if you're earning over £21,000 a year. Unless you're self-employed, repayments will be deducted from your salary automatically. And the amount you repay depends on how much you earn. Basically, you'll pay back 9% of whatever you earn over £21,000. For example, if you earn £25,000 per year, you'll pay back 9% of £4,000, which works out at £30 a month. Loan repayments stop whenever your income drops under £21,000, and having a student loan doesn't affect your credit rating. Also, after 30 years, regardless of how much you've paid back, the remaining debt is completely wiped. 
Swansea University also offers scholarships to reward academic success, and students from lower-income households will receive significant financial assistance in the form of income-related bursaries. For more information on the scholarships and bursaries offered by Swansea University, you can visit the website address displayed on the screen. Many students experience financial difficulty while studying at university, for example, due to an unforeseen circumstance. If you find yourself struggling financially during your course, you can apply to the Financial Contingency Fund, which is a hardship fund administered by the Money Advice and Support Office. This is not a source of funding, and an award from the fund is not guaranteed, but if you do receive an award, you won't need to pay it back. As well as administering the fund, the Money Advice and Support Office is also here to offer advice and information on credit cards, bank accounts, debt, budgeting and much more. So if you have a query relating to student funding or any other money-related query, please get in contact by email at moneydoctors at swansea.ac.uk or phone on 01792 60 Good luck and thanks for watching.